warm comfort food. Love Chili it. stew. It's my favorite. Soup. This time of year, it's perfect. I know. It's I love putting kind of on a crock pot of stew. Well, nothing's better in this chilly weather than, of course, we were talking nice hot meal. A meals. nice hot meal. Here's <laughs> Chef Cody with how to make stuffed beef. Welcome to Pilar College. I am Chef Saeed, and this is Cody, one of our students. Today he's going to show us how we make the Italian borsciola stuffed beef. Okay, Cody, take over. Thank you, Chef. First step, you want to take a nice piece of flank steak or whatever beef you have available, and you want to take your tenderizer. If you don't have a tenderizer at home, you can use a fork or whatever you can do. Just make sure you get nice and tender, have it pounded out nice and flat. Second step is take some salt. Take some kosher salt and black pepper. Get it all nice and rubbed in. You want to add coarsely ground chopped parsley. You want to add some coarsely cut green onion. Then you want to add Parmesan cheese. You use as much as you want to or as little as you want to, whatever your flavor is. You also want to add some minced garlic in there and get it all nice and even, coated. Then you want to roll your steak just like a cigar. Once you get it rolled, you want to truss it with butcher's toy. It's real easy to do. Just wrap it around. Do a simple knot. Pull it tight. Pull it over and make a few knots about every inch. And do that all the way down. Once you get that done, you take a nice hot pan, and you want to sear your steak on all four sides for about 10 minutes. So everything's nice and brown. You want to hear that nice sound, because that means it's all the uh, sugar is going to caramelize in your pan. Once you get it really nice and brown, you transfer it to a pan with your marinara sauce. I have one right here. You put your Fragile in the marinara sauce. Cover it and cook it for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, until it's nice and done. Once you take it out of the pan, put it back on your butcher block, and you want to cut the twine off of it and get it ready for your, your plate. Once you get your twine off, take a really sharp knife, and you want to make about one inch cuts here, one inch slices. Get that really nice look on the meat. Really beautiful. Second thing you want to do is make some pasta. And now we have a one already plated. You can use any type of pasta you'd like. Here we use fettuccine. You want to lay it out really nice. You want to top it with your marinara sauce. And you want to top the rajo with the marinara. Anyone, just for put that a little extra, add some Parmesan cheese across the top of it, and some more parsley. And there you go. What up with you? Thank you, Cody. Thank you, Chuck. I hope you make it. I enjoy it. Thank you.